What's up, y'all? We're Josiah and the Greater Good from Nashville, Tennessee. We're here at the ProMotion studio in the historic Market Square, about to play y'all some songs. So thanks for hanging out. Girl, you ain't no good for me. I tried to make it work, but now I see all the things that we can never be. And why I need to break free, it's been a long time coming, but it's time to hit the road. We ain't going nowhere fast, so what we're trying for Thank you guys. Once again, we're just trying to get it good. This is Brandon Bowman, real quick like. This is John Augustus. This is B. Witt over here on the keys. Joey Pierce on the guitar and Frank back here on the drums. They are the greater good. And they're gonna play you this song called the BP Jam right quick. <laughs> Thank you. 
That right there was a BP jam. This song right here is called, uh, what we said we're doing next? Relapse? Just twist it. No. Thank you. This next song right here is called Relapse. Once again, check us out anywhere, any platform. Josiah Negrity mm-hmm. Good. And hear all this music at any time, any place.
This right here is a classic JTGG tune right here, Other Side. We don't have no good live versions of this one out, and it's such a good song. That's all I got to say about it.
This song right here is called Real Mother Lover. You could imagine what it's supposed to be called. Now with Josiah Negrita Good here at Promotion Studios in the historic Market Square. Much love to all my guys at Promo, James Gilly and the crew. We appreciate you guys having us out and appreciate what y'all do here in Knoxville and around the region. Anyway, I'm gonna introduce some other people. Introduce some other people. Who's going first anyway? Let's go with B-Wit first. B-Wit on the keys right here, he's gonna go first. Yeah, we ain't got practice nothing, go ahead. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Be with right there on the keys. We're gonna throw it back over my right shoulder. <laughs> throw it back to John Augustus over here on the bass. Thank <laughs> you. 
Super nice. Now we're gonna go straight behind me. We're gonna chop it up for a second with Frank on the drums.
Frank back there on the drums, y'all. But wait, there's more. Right back at you, bro. Go ahead, Brandon. Brandon Bowman. It's all good, man. It's all love. Promotion studio today. We're joined by the guys Josiah and the Greater Good. Yes, sir. yes. yes sir. what's going on, guys? Hanging out, having a good time. Glad to have you guys here. Uh, first time as a full band in a while. Had to take a break, and people have moved around. And y'all came in and slayed that session. When was the last time you guys played together all together? Uh, let's see. When was it? Was it Sunset on Central, or did we play one in between from here and then? I don't think we played Rock Road. Running St. Patty's Day. Do we have everybody be it too? Yeah. On St. Patty's? Mm-hmm. I, I think it's been sunset. Yeah. Sunset, sunset. Yeah. 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 Sunset on Central. So you brought Shout that you brought that kind of vibe and just off of the talent that you guys have and the rapport and how much practice you guys have had because you played extensively there for a few years, just getting out all over the southeast playing festivals and stuff like that. And Took COVID to set back, get some oh, yeah. writing done, and yeah. got the struggle bus on the way out. Tell me about the uh, struggle bus album. was a was a compilation album of some of our old songs that you know back in the day when we released them, um, we didn't really know what we were doing. They just kind of released to our friends and family, and that's where they stayed. So I basically pulled a re-release with a publisher and you know a marketing company and charted it on the independent radio. Uh, charts for college radio so basically it was just an attempt to get good songs that we'd already recorded out farther before we drop our you know our third project you know what I mean because we've dropped two so far Um, yeah we've got two and then we dropped a whole bunch of singles so basically 
You know, due to that the, singles, the singles you were sitting on to just kind of uh, like buffer room before that third one comes. Right, out. right. Well, we were gonna put those singles on a third one. We we're gonna do a ten track album for our third project. But then, like you said, COVID. Um, so like, I released about three, I think three or four songs as singles, and then you know everything kind of got jammed up and um, due to circumstance, and we kind of just got stuck there. And then um, life took its course and. We've all is been focused is, in different yeah. places, doing different things, but we've always, you know, come back together over music. So, that's uh, that's amazing to me that you guys, you have people moving away, people got jobs, people got family, kids, all of that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we're in deep and <laughs> able to come together. <laughs> hadn't yeah. hadn't seen each other like properly in at least a few months. That's right. And communicate, got this together, and laid that down. So when you're putting the band together. How did this? Did just all this talent fall together naturally? Is this something that just kind of evolved? Well, I found Brandon, and then Brandon brought me some people, and uh, he brought me John, and he brought me Frank, and then I've been knowing Joey for a long time, and you know, I was just kind of watching him like a like a college or an NFL scout or something. You know? Oh yeah, I was just yeah. watching the him. The young for man a, slid him for a hot minute, and then me and Brandon would take him out on some you know gigs that we. We were like, yeah, you know, we can kind of just you know, go out there and do whatever. We Test the water, Joey, bring yeah. Joey, and we bust his balls all night long. And then he went out. He went out and, uh, without us being involved whatsoever, went out and just uh, came back a monster, you know. And then we we're like, all right, fine, <laughs> fine. Okay, go play some guitar. I act like I hate it, but it's the best thing. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> So like the writing and all that, like is this a, is it a group process when you well, write or really you kind of bring the stuff, a song, bring a vibe to I it? I write a song on a guitar, you know, and I got a general idea in my brain and that's about it. And then I bring it to the practice room and then these guys flesh it out. And uh, I got some meaty mofos. Yes, you do. Brain. Yes, you do. There's a lot of flesh on that shit. <laughs> so uh, what's a practice like for y'all? Like do y'all, do y'all just take it real seriously or is Our it practices you know, like... suck. <laughs> I have no preparation whatsoever. I'm usually late, and it's in my basement, you know. And every <laughs> y'all want to talk about practice? Practice? What's practice? 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 Exactly. That's the thing. Is that's my favorite practice. player. Hey, I man, since my favorite player, so that tells you all you need to know. We all try to play on our own. Obviously, so yeah, stays, yeah. Like it's not like everything gets. We challenge each other creatively. Yeah, we, we stay stay in the chats with stuff like, hey, I made this. Check this out. You know, put some yeah. of this and stuff. So there's always like. A collaboration going on, even though we might not be able to get together and actually play in the, in the physical. What's the, what's the uh, dynamic like for something when you're trying to uh, write a song, work through a part, and everybody's miles away, other towns, uh, trying to communicate through a chat and work on a song? Oh, we just send it and people do what they want. You just put it on it and it's just like you don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah no, I did. Yeah. yeah, and the dynamic is if it takes too long, <laughs> somebody else. Yeah, you know, it's, somebody's gonna start getting lit up. You know, everybody's gonna be like, "Hey, yo, guess what? I got, I got all this back from everybody but this guy." And then we all gang up on whoever's slacking until we get it done. You gotta hold them, feet, hold them to the irons, man. That's right. Hold their feet to the fire. That's right. That's right. So uh, you got working on getting some uh, shows, full band, and everything like that coming up. Hopefully by the end of the year, two twenty twenty two. We're laid back. We're laid back, letting it come as it may. Um, writing some new stuff, recording some new stuff, concepting some new things, getting out where a good gig presents itself, and you know that's about the gist of it right now. Once we drop our next project, you'll see us hit another gear. Oh, yeah. You'll see us come together a little bit more focused and a little bit more direct with what we're trying to do, and. Uh, It'll speak for itself, you know. You've been building quite a following through the uh, struggle bus, like shopping that out to independent radio and stuff. Oh, yeah. You can see these small college towns. They, they're going to eat up that sound anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, really leaning on that is a brilliant move for y'all. I appreciate it. And uh, so when can people expect the third album out? Hell. I got one song that's pretty much ready to go. Cool. I just got to get it mixed and mastered. And, uh, well, i got to go in and chop up a couple little things that, after listening a few hundred times, I want to slightly tweak and then mix and master it, and, it's, and the first one will be coming off the press. But I am uh, I was hoping to beat the summer with it, but <laughs> as things seem to usually play out, it looks like it'll be the end of summer. <laughs> right on. How important is it when you're about to put out a song? Do you like to like sit on it, sleep on it? 
give it a couple weeks and go back and listen to it, see if it needs. It's really not some, by choice that that happens. Bro, like I, I hate listening back to stuff. You listen really? to it so many times, you start to pick apart everything. Exactly. It can get frustrating for me, at least. I see some people. That's their process. They I'm, like to write it, put it, put it away, and then come back to it and be like, "All right, I, I, I'll see where I was going with that." Yeah, and then yeah. other people, it's just get it done, put it out. So, is that kind of how you feel, or? Well, it's been different experience with different songs. Some songs I've I've been like, "That's perfect. Let's send it out now. Let's not touch it again." And then there's some songs that I've I've kept and worked on and worked on and worked on and worked on, and then I've just been like, "I hate it. Let's put it out." <laughs> yeah. Well, so I mean, that, 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 that's a typical musician, though. Is like you're gonna put something out. You may or may not be happy with it, out, it but you gotta put it out. Yeah, yeah. That's gotta put doing. it out. Oh yeah. So where can people get in touch with y'all? What's the best way to hear the music? Obviously, you can find it all on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, that kind of stuff as well. Right. But what's the best way to get in touch with y'all? Uh, man, I guess just follow the breadcrumbs. Um, <laughs> just sign the greater good. We're on, <laughs> we got you know. You got the Twitter, you can Instagram, email us Twitter off the website. off the website. You can hit us on the Facebook, Instagram, um, JTGG, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. JTGG band. Yeah, it's uh, just sign the greater good dot com or uh, JT. GG dot. Yeah, <laughs> so I might have two different handles. I don't remember. Right on. This other guy made that one. He's not with us anymore, but but that was a cool move. He was pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> put that <laughs> put that cumbersome handle on you. Yeah, yeah. He did, he <laughs> that did was a good, brilliant. Good job yeah. that. Dip on that. Here, you hold this check. <laughs> 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 all right, well, check them out, Josiah and the Greater Good, Josiah and the Greater Good.com. Follow right. them on all the socials. Stay tuned for new music on the way. Catch them live if you get a chance, and uh, don't miss the next promotion live session. Like, subscribe, follow down below. We'll catch you next time, live from Market Square.